I'm back with another video and in today's video based on the request you guys been putting out and I'm gonna answer that with this laptop it's how to service your hinge for your laptop hinge if your screen is really tough and you feel like it's lifting up it's moving the bottom case right in here yeah I don't know what angle I can put it for you guys to see I open the laptop if it's gonna focus there you go so when I move this one I can see it it is trying to bend this portion too even the screen the from here sometimes we, we do get lots of clients they do crack this portion up because of the hinge is really tough and over time they do get really tough depending how fast you open and close it if you have those type of pe people that just open and close up quickly and too often then you might want to service your hinge in a couple of years i'll say at least a year or whenever you see that there's a tension it's really easy and you can do this at home under say 10 to 15 minutes. I'll do this quickly so you guys can see. All right, first thing first, we wanna power off the laptop. You wanna flip it upside down. This one is a Lenovo IdeaPad 3. The model is a 15 IML05, but this applies for almost all the Lenovo 3 laptops, even the rest of the laptops that they have the hinges pretty much. You can open it up to see what kind of hinge you have and mostly they use the same type so we're going to grab a screwdriver set from this set we're going to use a Phillips number one this is an ipix screwdriver set the basic set if you get the process they'll include you with an opening tool and some tweezers if not grab yourself a guitar pick to open in the case all right we're going to remove the front end of the laptop the screws these screws are the short screws so keep them in one pile so don't mismatch them with the rest and remove the rest of the screws in the mid sides and the back those are the long screws also if you guys like my videos if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe i'll greatly appreciate it it helps and motivates me to make more videos take requests and answer your questions in the commentary appreciate that all right now that we removed all the screws we're going to grab the opening tool and we are going to open up the laptop a little bit or not that matter and we're gonna stick the opening to between the bottom cover and the palm rest right there. About two or three millimeters. And then you just wanna twist it. You wanna hit those big click sounds. They make it, those are the clips are getting loose. You wanna work yourself all around in the front. And do the sides. And this is gonna focus right here. Don't stick more than three or two millimeters the guitar pick. And do the back corner under the foot right there and right there all right there we go now just remember once you open up this hook the hooks that they just get removed after a few years of using they do get harder hit up it's just a plastic and once it hit it up and you try to peel it off tiny clips can you know, break from here and they just fall off don't worry about that those clips are to just hold the cover in place until it goes to the next production line and they will put the screws to hold the cover in place. So the main job of keeping this in place, the screws do that. Do that. So don't worry about the tiny plastic hooks that they get knocked out sometimes. All right, now that we remove this one, we can see this, the hinges right there, and we can see that the bolt right in there. There's a tiny bolt on the other side, the nut. So we're gonna get to those nuts, before we do that, we're gonna disconnect the battery by removing three. Disconnect it from there or just remove the screws for the battery and pull the battery out. For this model, we're gonna do this way. For the other model, you can just disconnect the battery. It's easy for me to just pull it up like that. I'm gonna flip it this way so it's facing me. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna remove the screws for the hinge. So there's a two screw in here and the third one goes from the cover up. And you can see this dust rolled up in there. Remove the dust in there. Use that old toothbrush. There's a tiny arrow you can mark it so you know which one the, the screw has to go. Remove this left side too. Once you do that, now you want to use your fingernail to unhook this flex cable. Just lift it up 90 degree and pull out this straight back for the flex cable for the LCD. 
unhook it from this hook right there, bring it all the way back. Now there's a Wi-Fi cable in here, you need to remove that too. So I'll just pull this cable upward and they just come out, lift it upward. And untangle them through this tiny hook around the fan. And when you put it back, you don't have to go around exactly the same way that it comes. There's a lot of real estate in here, so you can just dump it in there. It's not going to do anything. It's not a conductive cable or anything like that. So unhook it, bring it up, unhook it from there. Now, you want to open up the laptop a little bit and then close it down. So that way the hinge come up a little bit and now you can grab it and twist it all the way 90 degree backward. Lift out the bottom cover, I mean the laptop, and scoop it out. Pretty much you're scooping this plastic here. Once you scoop it out, now we have the hinges ready to be serviced right there. To service the hinges, what you want to do, you want to loosen up this nut about half a turn only. You see, test it with your hand, you see it's really tough. So you want to twist it until it becomes really soft, but not too soft, otherwise the screen is going to just fall off. So it's just going to fall back whenever you open the lid. So we're going to grab a pliers or you can use from this tool set. They do give you a nice tool to open it up. This one doesn't fit. So I'll go with the next one. This one does fit. So I'll put that one in there. I'm going to twist it. That really half a turn. And I see it is loose better. But I still need, I'll put it on the edge of the table. And I do another half turn. Now it's much better. It's still tough. That's what you want. It's between a stiffness and softness. That's what you want right there. Maybe a tiny bit more. And there we go. That's a little bit too much maybe, but. So I'm going to bring a plier because this screwdriver is really short. And I don't have the power to rotate that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab this one here. And I will twist it. There we go. And I see it is getting better. A little more. There we go. I like that better. Maybe tiny bit more. Because over time it is gonna get stiff again. So and I like that. Right. All right. Now that it's already serviced and clean up, you don't need to lube it up. If you put a lot of lubrication in here, the dust is gonna stick to it and it's gonna get worse. So don't put any lube or anything in there. So bring the cables backward, grab the laptop. Scoop it right first in a 90 degree angle inside and bring it down. Align it. Run the cables in there. Go that way under that. Bring it up. Go down. Go in there. Bring it up again. And there we go. I like to leave a little room to play in here for the screen so I'll leave a little more room but when the screen opens up it will require more of the cable all right then I'm gonna close the screen the hinge and I'll put the two screws on this side And two screws on the other side, but before we do that, we have to plug in the Wi Fi cables. Doesn't matter which one goes where, they're both the same antennas. They just snap in, just push them down. I have a big finger, so I can't do this. So I need to use a tweezers to align it. And then push them in. All right. Now, 
you want to put this LCD cable, make sure the jack is open. You want to put it down in there in a straight in. Be gentle with it, don't force it. Once it's all the way in there, close the lock. Bring the hinge down. Put the two screws for the hinge. Now we are almost done. We're gonna connect the battery. If you have to connect it, disconnect it, connect it back in. Plug it in there, set it down, put the screws for the battery if you have removed yours. And we're gonna put the bottom cover and we should see how good it is. Always make sure that the cables are not in front of the screw hole. That's what you want. You don't want them in front of the screw hole. So for example, this one, I'll leave that in there. I like, I rather to not be through that hook to be in there. So it, it has a nice room to move around when the screen opens. So bring the bottom cover, put it on top, squeeze down, squeeze down, and make sure you those nice big click towns. If you, any gap opening, just push them down and put the corner back screws first. These are for the hinges. Tighten up and put the short ones in the front and the rest of the screw goes all over the place. And let's open it up and see how it is. I'll put the rest of the screws in a bit. Right, so, oh, look at this. Very soft, nicely. It stays in a 45 degree angle, but after 35, it just falls off. I'd rather have that. I'll put it in a 45 degree angle. It stays right there. You can stiffen it up a little more if you want, but for my liking, it's beautiful. It doesn't stress the case and the hinges will not break. And this is how you service your hinge for your laptop. This is a specific one, Lenovo Idea Factory. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.